right guys, we're gonna start sketching our surreal animal inspired by Dali's artwork. Now, I'm going to be drawing an elephant, just like the handout. You're welcome to choose whichever animal you want to draw. If I look at the handout, I know that I need my animal in the top third of the piece of paper. We want very long legs before it reaches the ground. So when I, before I start, I'm kind of estimating about how big I want my elephant in order to get those long legs. So my first step, I'm going to be sketching lightly. I'm gonna look at the drawing and I'm going to draw it down about two fingers from the top of the paper. I'm gonna start in about the center of my page, actually, drawing my elephant's face and trunk. Now, everyone's drawing can look different. You don't have to draw an elephant. You can see my sketch. It's very light. Right, next we're gonna draw our elongated legs. Now, our elephant, it's going to look like he has stilts on almost. Kind of like they stretch out his legs super long. And I also believe they look to me like the elephant has insect legs. in three sections to each leg. We have the front two sketched out. One, two, three sections like an insect. Now I'm gonna draw the two legs coming from behind. I'm drawing very lightly. My lines are sketchy and loose and I'm not too worried about fine details right now. I'm just getting the figure of my animal sketched out. All right, now is when you're gonna go back in. You can add some detail, like they have a blanket on the, on the elephant and erase any lines, fine tune the details. We're still drawing lightly because we are going to be coloring this in, creating value using color, different shades of color. Now, when you draw, your ground, we need to make sure the horizon line and the main ground level, you need to make sure the main ground is behind the bottom of your animal's leg. So it's on the ground. Now I'm gonna draw some hills behind it to add some depth and distance. from behind. We wanna make sure the animal feels grounded. Make sure this line is above the bottom of your legs. All right, next we are going to grab our black pen or a sharpened black pencil to trace over our pencil line. Alright, as you can see, I have finished tracing over my pencil lines for my elephant design. Alright, I have my Dolly Surrealist Animal. I'm all set to start coloring it in. All 
right, now we are going to color in our Dolly Surrealist animal. You're going to use whatever supplies you have at home. I prefer colored pencils and crayons over markers because we want to show value. Value is shading, adding dark to the shadows of your animal to make it look more realistic. Similar to what you did in your 3D form shading with the cube or the cylinder. So when we start, we're going to start creating an overall color, the medium shade of your animal, then leaving the lights lighter, and then we'll come back with a darker shade or pushing down harder to create the shadow. So grab your tools and get started. All right, I have given my elephant the overall tone of gray. Now I'm gonna come back in and add the shadows by pushing harder with my same tool. I'm using a colored pencil. So I'm gonna go in and look for the shadows, which would be under the back legs and the belly. I will be using other colors to help create a darker tone, some browns as well. All right guys, here's a little pro tip. I'm using this gray, and if I wanna practice or test out what another shade is gonna look like. I wanna see if this light pink will look nice with it. So always make sure you have a scrap piece of paper to test out blending colors. Once you have finished coloring in your surreal animal, we are gonna work on the background. Now I'm gonna create a sunset, so warm colors for my sky, and I'm going to do cool colors for my ground. So I'm gonna start on my ground first, knowing that I'm gonna use cool colors. Now I have these big, hard colored pencil crayon sticks, Crayons might work better because it's a larger area. You can put it down and do rubbings. You also, if you have chalk sticks at home, you could use those as well to blend it. Whatever supplies you have. Maybe you have markers. You need markers for the background to get around the animal and color it in easier. Use what you have at your house. Tip, continue to color in the same direction as best you can. The foreground, the closest ground, is going to be darker than the middle ground or the background. As it goes off into the distance, shades of color become lighter. I'm gonna do a sunset sky similar to Dolly's The Elephant's painting.
Okay, I am finished my Dolly Surrealist Animal Drawing. Today we worked on identifying what surrealism art is, dreamlike artwork. We've taken a, a regular animal and created our own version. Mine looks like it has insect type legs, often some type of desert with the dark sand at the bottom that looks blue from the shadows, the sun setting sky. We also worked on simple lines and shapes to create our animal in the beginning. Then we took color and we used value to create the shading just like we did with our 3D forms to have our creature go from 2D flat to look like three dimensional like it's coming off of the page. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Stay creative. Until